Hey everyone, it's Boss. I'm here with Tails and Rick Sanchez, and today we're going to be talking about Canon, if they're a real competitor to Bitmain to dethrone them from ASIC mining, and we're going to focus it all around their main, most popular miner they've released, the Avalon 841. <laughs> Stop. Is Canon actually a competitor to Bitmain? And this is C-A-N-A-A-N, -A -A -N, not Canon, you know, like the camera you might be used to. Canon is touted to be the next biggest competitor to Bitmain. However, the public valuation they're seeking for their company as they've applied to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange would be $1 billion. In comparison, Bitmain just recently released news that they are seeking 18 billion dollars they're expected to have an 18 billion dollar valuation when they hit the hong kong stock exchange if they get approved and all that stuff nothing's confirmed until it actually happens but that's insane okay that's absolutely insane and on track to be one of the biggest ipos ever okay so pretty big deal at least it's in crypto uh Bitmain continues to be the giant, but whatever. If they're an IPO, that should help clean up their axe some. But this video is about Canon, so let's dive a little bit deeper. The most popular item to leave the Canon factory would be the Avalon Bitcoin miners. They deal in volume, and that's really the only way they deal, which is why most people have never had a Canon miner, because it's a lot easier to get a Bitmain ant miner, and it's easier to get a smaller quantity. Previously, when I was searching uh, Canon miners, especially in, in the bull run this winter, when I was making 50 bucks a day with my Antminer S9, I was like, hey, let's get some more Bitcoin miners. I was looking at these minimum order quantity of 50, and while it has changed some, it's still uh, more of a wholesale basis. On that note, it is possible to deal in some volume or some lower volume thanks to Andre, who's actually the one who let me go hands-on with this Avalon 841 today because I could justify buying it otherwise. And that's just because I'm starting to feel like Bitcoin mining has become so commercialized that the DIY at home small scale miner it's just not suited for us. And, and that's the category I, I've always fallen in and still remain to fall into. And it just doesn't make sense to have Bitcoin miners. You may notice that this miner looks pretty uniform, like just nice form factor, no nonsense on it. Well, that's because the nonsense is external. This is the Avalon controller. And while this can control several devices, it's an additional piece that you'll need to purchase and it's a little bit more to keep track of. So imagine, you know, you have, I'm just, I keep referencing the miners and especially the miner S9 because that's just the most popular miner and those with experience in ASIC mining will be able to recall on that experience. But this would be the same if you had your miner and this was sitting on top. What, what you're used to seeing on top of the miners is the control board, it's built in, this external. And what this is gonna do is actually give your miner network capabilities. Otherwise, this is just gonna be an offline device and thus they cannot contribute to the Bitcoin network and you'll never make a dollar. But in current market, you'd actually only make 50 cents a day anyway. And that's assuming you had 11 cents per kilowatt hour electric, which some people think is really good. Some people don't find that that impressive. In addition to the Canon Avalon 841, we also have their official Canon Avalon power supply right here. This is gonna use, work for all their miners, which is basically just 841. And it's kind of standard, generic Chinese power supply, everything you'd expect, and it works. Simple as that, it works. I've never touched on this adapter before and I wanna make a quick note of it for everyone tuning in here today. And it takes the C14 adapter, which is you know what's gonna plug right into, or C13, plug right into your PD right here. And it takes the NEMA 5 standard you know, computer US cord, okay? Everything you're used to right there. So it just plugs right into the PDU, just like that. And it gives you an adapter you can use a standard plug on. So with that in mind, I can grab this standard power supply cable. Got a little ahead of myself there for a second. So uh, the Avalon 841 is going to use four, or excuse me, eight, six pin PCIe connections right here in the back. It's gonna be four on each side. Gonna be supplied by most common, you know, ATX and server PSU options available like this Canon one right here. You need to set up the controller as well. And the interesting piece about the Avalon and how they can control multiple units is they work off of a daisy chain style setup. So there's two plugs right here and you know, just goes in just like this. 
and this guy can go to the next guy and the next guy and the next guy and thus you can control multiple units with one controller all right guys so i moved it over to a screen capture to be able to show you guys some stuff a little more clearly uh, this is an excellent guide and I just didn't really feel the need to make a full in-depth setup guide on how to lose money daily and <laughs> depending on your electric price. So uh, if you want to know how to set up your Avalon 841, 821, 741, 721, etc., check out this guide. Link in the description. Good guide. You know, nice pictures, detailed, thorough, and correct. Uh, absolutely correct. Tested it. So um, just, just to rehash these things, Canon, this is their site. You want to order one direct and not you know, talk to Andre, who is the one who made this video possible. And I will link to his website, Novabit, and you can contact him if you're interested in these miners. He should be able to supply some kind of discount and so forth, or at least a lower quantity, but a quantity of 40, which is less than 50, but still a very large quantity. Granted, the dollar amount is much lower than it used to be, but that's only because of the market, not because they've really changed anything. So with all that in mind, you know, again, we've got this miner for 618 bucks. You still need a controller. You still need the other adapter. You still need a power supply. It's going to be about, with, at this price, it'd be about a thousand bucks to your door. In comparison with the S9J 14.5 tera hash, which is a little bit faster because this hash is at 13 tera hash at 1300 watts. So this is a 1450 watt consumption, I believe. Oh, 1350. So the S9J hash is faster, right? Comes with a power supply, 625, with shipping and everything, and uh, probably a little small slap in the face from customs. You're gonna be looking at about 700 bucks, about $300 cheaper to get a better machine. Again, I'm not trying to slam Canon, they're just simply losing. Uh, based off all the numbers I was able to run in 2017, they were about 20% of, uh, uh, Bitmain sales so they, they about like so Bitmain did about a billion and Canon did about 200 million uh, roughly based on the numbers I had uh, which were also confirmed right here to be clear that is going to be their revenue in 2017 and it states their net profit is 56 million in comparison which again this is just really easy right here show you guys fiscal year 2017 Bitmain made a billion dollars so uh, you know, let's just see that, assume that's revenue just one in the same. So they'd be doing about 20% with quarter one Bitmain absolutely dominating, doing that, that everything they did in the last year already to that point and projected to make 2 billion, which I don't think is unreasonable at all. You're gonna be looking at Canon moving like five to 10% of Bitmain in this same time frame. Again, we go over here to the 841, which is the model we've got. And I'll go ahead and change this to 11 cents a kilowatt hour. And I'll have to type that in again. You can see this came out April 2018. And you're, I mean, <laughs> with the dip, I ran these numbers earlier and you'd be making uh, like 50, 55 cents, I believe. And now with the dip of the day, we're going to be down even further just decreased earnings about half of that again s9j in comparison is going to be hardly better so you know run all these numbers come to your own conclusions if you're looking to build a mining farm that's scaling maybe this is a miner that makes sense for you however if you're a diy at home miner like myself which you can check out the channel for all kinds of crazy videos like this one where I set up a mining shed if I can get a good shot in here um, that's what my intake looks like but anyway uh, I'm an at-home miner I play I pay residential electric I built a mining shed right there next to my house and it's been a crazy journey absolute blast but with this bear market it's really starting to hurt and it's really showing how commercialized cryptocurrency mining has been you know after this last bull run a lot of just just a lot of press and a lot of interest and a huge influx of money not only into cryptocurrency but also into mining hardware but above all make sure to hit that subscribe button on the boss coin youtube channel to stay up to date on everything cryptocurrency especially mining and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching I